Hey guys, still here. Welcome back. We are on for another episode, and hopefully I'm going to be spawning in something evil soon, something that I can kill off. We have 20,000 resources, so we're definitely well stocked there. And the question is, what do we build? So, um, I think we're going to have some fun with that. And the question is, can you help me with it? Because I haven't done it yet. Here's the question. Um, somebody asked me in the comments, can you build a nuclear missile? From what I know of the missile section, no you can't. However, what you do have in the game is... Um, where did they park it? Here, the tactical nuke explodes when destroyed and can be used to build an effective kamikaze design. I don't quite know how to build a kamikaze design. By the way, I do like the point, vehicle warranty and <laughs> insurance invalidated by placement of this thermonuclear device. Um, <coughs> immediately starts ringing the uh, red alert theme, by the way. It's a nuclear device. Anyway, um, how do we build a suicide craft? That's the question. How do we build a suicide craft? That's what I'm going to be trying this episode. Now, we have our sub-vehicle spawner somewhere deep here in the bowels of the boat. And I'm going to add another one on the other side. Not that I already have a sub-vehicle ready to go but it can hold a new vehicle. So, let's go for a new object, a new vehicle, uh, and quickly grab hold of that thing before it manages to slip away. Select it, on, hold, range, oh, I don't know, 35 meters. Come back here, there you are. Ah, damn, World of Warships updater. Um, right, so we need a cheap unit. Cheap being the trick word here. Um, so for once, I'm considering going with a surface combatant. Because it is probably the fastest and cheapest option. The question is, will it get to its target? And that's something that I don't quite know. I'm thinking that a submarine will get to its target, but just self-detonating a nuclear submarine or a submarine with a nuclear weapon... Um, I consider that a bit of a waste. Yeah, so let's see how long a boat can last. I think that this should be enough. Now the question is, what kind of an engine do we give it? Because a fuel engine uh, can work. How about not giving it an engine at all? World of Warships, sort of. How about not giving it an engine at all? If we can give it a battery beam, let's say maybe two of those, and then we add an electric engine. It now has some power, and if it runs out, well, so be it. I'm only going to detach this thing uh, if and when there is another threat nearby anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Let's make this thing like that. Uh, a couple of inverteds. I think it's already way too long, by the way. This is supposed to be a very small craft. Only there to ram itself into something. Or, well, that's not technically true. It's only there to get close enough to something so that it can then blow up. Again, this is probably <laughs> not a good idea, but, well, we're here anyway. We might as well have some fun with it while we're waiting. There is one caveat with this design. If they manage to somehow set this thing off when I am next to it, well, let's just say I don't want to see what's going to happen next. I don't think that that would be a very pleasant experience for any of us. Now, since this thing is going to be operating autonomous, it's going to need a mainframe. Uh, we're going to need a couple of connectors, probably. Not even too many. We're going to need a card slot. Because this thing is going to need a naval AI. Like that. Uh, a target prioritization, if that's what you can call it. Now... How do you set up the naval AI? Um, 
Broadside minimum range, none. Below 200 meters will engage with a broadside of 75 meters. Above 300 meters, turn to close on the target again. Right. Okay, so if I set this to zero, it should try to get as close as possible. Leave broadside above this range, check. Well, leave broadside above pretty much any range. You need to get as close as possible. Um, depth requirement, none. Turning circle, I have no idea what the turning circle of this boat is going to be. I just imagine there's not going to be that much. Idle approach distance. Um, we'll approach to within 75 meters. No. No, no, no. We'll approach to 230 meters of a friendly craft when no enemy presence. When no enemies are present. I think that would make a bit more sense. Not parking a nuclear boat right next to yours. A nuclear boat, by the way, I mean, um, a basically a, a floating nuclear bomb is what we're building. And if this hasn't set off the NSA yet, then I don't know what will. Um... I'm not particularly concerned about this craft getting detected, so I can just park uh, a connector or two with an active radar system on it. Radar 360. Uh, <laughs> and what do we do with the rest of it? We load it up with explosive devices. We just fill this? Oh yeah. Press Q to detonate. Reminder, do not press Q. At all. I almost did. Uh, <laughs> let's not go there. Let's not go there. Propellers. This thing needs to go there fast. We're going to give it two huge propellers. One rudder. Uh, mass is slightly to the rear, but that's fine. We're going to need to add an air pump. Like that. It is breached? Yeah, sure, it's underwater. What do you expect? Oh, lordy, if this thing goes off. So this boat costs about 2800 Um I would call that very inefficient, in the sense that it doesn't really make sense to try and uh, send out boats worth 2800 against threats. But hey, we have the resources, so why not? Now, I am going to... I was going to say set this thing off, but send this thing off, because I think it has everything that it needs right now. Uh, access 7 units of power, yeah, it has plenty of power. I'm going to send this thing on its merry way. Off. It is starting to flow to the surface. Vehicle. Control, your Control mode. Uh, PF3B, there we go. It's probably still trying to surface. Yep, here it comes. Little thing. <laughs> the barge of the dead. Oh, this is going to be glorious. I don't know what sort of explosive... Uh, effect we can expect here because I never worked for these things as I mentioned. Whoa! You're happy leaping out of the water. Okay, I think that we need to do something about the propulsion because it's simply too high above the water. Um, build on this force. Yeah, this is not really working. Let's add some downward slopes here. Like that. And we can hopefully lower those things just enough to allow them to actually get some water. Actual speed about 18 meters per second. It is churning through its engine fast though, or through its battery. So I'm going to give it one RTG. Immediately ups the price by 375. But screw it. Are you regenerating your power? It probably is. Bloody hell, this thing is still leaping out of the water. Okay, in that case, we're going to have to add some 
Hang on, that was not supposed to leave. I'm going to have to add some of these things and make them a bit deeper. Uh, this is probably terrible for drag, but whatever. This thing won't have to suffer through its terrible drag for very long. Water, propellers, huge props. That's better. Speed, 15... Well, sort of, until it stopped. And yes, it is regenerating power, so it should be fine. Um, yeah, I'm of a mind to save that thing. Just to make sure, but I don't think we can do that from out here. Um, capture prefabs? No. I think we're going to have to do that through the editor. Because I was very eager to hover over here and press Q. See how much of an explosive yield that gets me. Anyway. Now we need something to hit it with. Or for it to hit. So this thing cost me... A little over 3,000 resources. So it is really only to be used against threats which are... Um, I'd say worth 10,000 at least. Otherwise, Seawolf and Virginia can easily take out the threat all by themselves. Um, let's bring this thing back in for docking. I love how it's being pulled sideways through the water. Like, come here. <laughs> sure. Um, yes. Let's set that thing up so that it is not going to be too close to the boat. I really don't trust that thing. 100 meters off to the starboard side. I want you absolutely no closer than that. There we go. Right, so now we just wait for something to explode it into. Our little uh, suicide boat. This is going to be interesting. I really wonder how that thing is going to perform. If you have a design for something like that, some sort of fun little creation that you think would be interesting to see, let me know. Uh, leave it down in the comments, post the link there, or send the link to stealth at stealth17gaming.com. And by link, I mean craft file. And I'll happily include it in the video. Because at some point, um, or sometimes actually, I'm running a little low on ideas on what we can go do next. And simply sailing around hitting stuff, uh, it's not really going to stay interesting for an especially long period of time. Now we are however here at three gates. I'm not going to enter these just yet. I first want to kill some stuff, but we're probably still in the spawn period. Where something spawns in every now and then. But really not very regular. Let's see, where's Virginia? Where is Virginia? Is that... Yeah. What are you doing over there? Get over here. Moving now. You're faster if you actually come to me yourself. Now. And I'll now. catch you when you get close. Um... About the Virginia, by the way, we still need to do some reconstructing. Hello? We still needed to do some reconstructing on Virginia. Mostly off the torpedo. What the hell is going on? We still need to do some reconstruction of the torpedo section. Because I messed up the torpedo alignment a little bit previous episode when I was adjusting the torpedo setup. Okay, so the cam is being drawn towards the boat, I think. Let's see where we end up. That's me. Where 
Where the hell is that craft? Okay, we'll just have to wait for a little bit until it gets closer. Um, out of curiosity, can we just turn those subconstructs a little bit? Because I think that they might be causing a lot of drag. Let's go towards the back. Uh, capture orientation. Hold azimuth. Can we switch that to minus 90? Yep, that's a bit better. And if you're minus 90, then you need to be plus 90. There you go. That's what I wanted. Excellent. So, torpedoes. Uh, we had the APN guidance there. Tar now I have two of them. There needs to be one turn over there. And this one came up too fast. Float depth. Uh, how do we do that? I think... I think the top torpedo was the problem. Let me have a look. Uh, the top torpedo is supposed to track surface targets. It's doing a lot worse tracking surface targets than the main... than the one mainly meant for subsurface, as I mentioned. Uh-huh, okay. Surface torpedo rises to the surface too fast, messing up the one turn when it leaves the water. Yes, I imagine that would be a problem. So it's not this torpedo, it is this torpedo. It rises to the surface too quickly. Mm. What would happen if I'd set this to negative... Let's say half a buoyancy. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but this should allow it to slow down as it's approaching the surface and potentially dip down a little bit. I'm not sure if it's working. We'll just have to see. And uh, for that, we're going to need a target. By the way, I'm seeing a ton of gates here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not seeing any resource zones. Six, seven even. I'm not seeing any resource zones. And I'm not seeing any targets either. Where is everybody? Well. We'll just have to wait. Now somebody said I managed to put the... Uh, the poster holders on backwards. Really? Oh, God. I did, didn't I? Yeah, I put them on backwards. That's why they're not displaying anything. Bloody hell. I really... <laughs> I really am not that good at this game. As you could tell. Now, one of you guys left a link down there in the comments. I'm having a look at it now for the internal sides of a submarine. Which picture was it? I think it's uh, that one. Yes, it's... Yeah, I think this will work. Okay. Ta-da! We have a poster. So that was easy. If you know what to look for. It's a bit too big. Um... We really would need a wall, which is three points high, I think. So in order for that to happen, we're going to have to lower the deck a little bit. Yeah, we can do that. Because why wouldn't you just change the layout of the submarine? Simply in order to hang up a couple of posters. Why wouldn't you do that? This is from the depth. We can do anything we like. Oh, I think a, th no, a two meter would be in order there. Ooh, 
Whoops. That might have been a bit much. Come on. You know, we're going to have to do a little bit of work here later, but... Um, can it fit a little better now? Because now it has... Yeah, now it should have plenty of room. Height... 1.7? Yeah, sort of. There. Now we're getting somewhere. This is... Um, how do I put this? This is how a normal submarine looks. This is not per se how my submarine looks. Let's see. Of course now my whole other system is thrown out of whack. Whatever. Okay. So we can add another poster... Right about here? No? You don't want to go there? What the hell are you? Oh, you're a repair pawn. Hmm. For some reason, it seems that the whole wall is being obstructed by that one poster holder. Okay. Hang on, we're getting resources. We are hitting something. Yes, we're hitting a marauder. Uh, that's nice. A marauder. Oh, he's not alone. Hello, what are you? 42,000 resources. Seawolf. Uh, disengage the mainframe, disengage the mainframe. This is the moment of truth. This is where we send out our floating explosive device. Before it gets any uh, strange ideas. Good luck. Go forth and uh, detonate yourself on something. In the meanwhile, let's see how we're doing. Looks alright, we haven't taken any damage. I guess we just fired off a couple of torpedoes against that Marauder. Marauder is now taking a... Oh, he's taking a beating! From that mothership. See, now we're talking about something. This thing looks positively heavily armed. And he... He's too damaged. He might also be engaging something else. Yes, he is. We have a Jacob's Folly for 50... No, sorry, for 21,000 resources. Yes, yes. Where's my suicide boat? There's my suicide boat. Here, little boat. Moving out. This thing, Moving this out. video is going to be so advertiser unfriendly. It's going to be ridiculous. All right. Where's my boat? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? This is what you get if you let me design something in a hurry. It just turns into this absolute lunacy of a craft. Uh, maybe a lead keel would help. I hope that allows it to rotate back. bit more. Yes, sorta. Yeah. And don't you get close to me. I am very much uninterested in a close encounter with a tactical nuclear weapon like that. Moving out. Moving out. In the meanwhile, these two guys are slugging it out. It looks like the Jacob's Folly is doing way better than that mothership. 
or actually way worse. I mean, the mothership is doing a lot of damage, but the Jacob's Folly, not so much. He's going to leave behind quite a few resources. Where's the boat? Where's the boat? Where's the boat? Here's the boat. Oh, this is going to be good. I hope. He's too damaged. If that mothership so much get a, a single AP hit on this thing, a single missile, if it looks at it silly, this thing is going to go up into some large fireball. If you have any other thoughts about how I can create a nuclear missile in this game, let me know down in the comments. Is that mothership still out here? Hello? Yeah, it seems to be off to the side there. I hope that raft has enough energy left. Mm, sorta. There. Oh, there's the mothership. Moving out. Mothership speeding at 16 meters per second. Our raft, in the meanwhile, doing 14. It's going to be running out of energy soon. I really don't want to invest too much more into that boat. And if it goes up, it goes up, period. This mothership might not even fucking care. Moving out. Let's see if we can just park it here and have it recharge a little bit. Because I think it's about halfway through its battery at this point. Order's complete. Yep, it's recharging. For some reason, it's not taking fire. Despite the, well, pretty massive firepower that this mothership has. I do see some missiles, but I'm not sure exactly what they're going for. Curious. In the meanwhile, let's detach Virginia. Let's have Virginia take over those resources. There's a thousand to be gained there. Looking at 5,400 points of energy, that's fine. Still speeding at 17 knots. That's faster than what I can get to. So if that thing keeps running, then I'm not that likely to catch it. Hmm. I did get a decent portion of resources from that, uh, that kill that I got. It keeps popping off missiles. But I'm really not sure what they're going for. It looks like the missiles themselves aren't too sure either. Did somebody drop radar buoys in the water or something? Hmm. See, we'll switch to patrol mode. Let's start heading more or less. Oh! Actually, we're really starting to launch torpedoes. Oh, well. Moving out. I don't think our boat's going to be getting much action. It's simply too fast. Wow, seasick yet? Alright, stop. Where are you? holding position. Right, so we're going to have to try and take down that mothership with torpedoes. That might be the easiest, or at least the fastest way of doing it. In the meanwhile, Virginia is still on course for the resources, I think. 
Oh, actually, Virginia already transferred the resources. Perfect. There's a first swarm of torpedoes heading for the mothership. Looks like the second salvo is just being launched. Right about now. I wonder if these things can make it that far. I know my torpedoes have a good range. But this might be a stretch. Awaiting new order. Moving now. Moving now. Yeah, I don't think that they're gonna get there. See their trails are dissolving, which means they're out of fuel. It's maneuvering at about 17 knots, or 17 meters per second, which is definitely more than 17 knots. We're doing everything we can, and we're running on 13. So we need to find some way of getting close to this guy. Virginia can do it. Virginia's a little faster at 21. So let's see if Virginia can intercept it. Maybe hurt it a little bit, and then we can be the ones to actually try and kill it off, because we have a, well, a significantly heavier armament than Virginia. And meanwhile, this boat, well, it's still here recharging. Not doing anything particularly useful. I wonder where this thing is heading, though. Let's see, what can we see about it? Looks to be armed with a couple of APS, or cannon systems, all round actually. These could be missile launchers. That might be a large advanced cannon, right on the bow. A couple of props, I really like the shape of this thing though. The way it is set up as a catamaran shape. But I think that that could be pretty fragile. Because if you manage to get some explosive hits along that axis, then you immediately blow off half your armament. Or maybe 40% of it. Okay, so we stop launching torpedoes because we're out of range. Virginia doesn't seem too concerned with that. Let's bring that boat back in before somebody else just needlessly blows it up. Now. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to catch that thing this episode. We'll just have to postpone that till the next one. For now, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are on our little uh, suicide minion over there. If you have any better ideas on how to design these things on the cheap, I'm very much interested. Um, I think that something like the mothership down there would be an interesting target. It's valuable enough. I mean, this thing is worth almost 40k. We can blow that up with something worth, well, a little over 3. I think that would be a good trade. But let me know down in the comments how we can make this thing um, either more effective or cheaper. Because I think those would be useful elements for it. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for more episodes.